All right, continuing on with our awesome bowl of fruit, uh, let's go ahead and add another layer for our uh, green apple. It looks like the green apple and then um, bananas are going to be on top of the green apple. So I'm going to do one for the green apple here. Oops. Now you see I added it, but it seemed to kind of mix where that's going to go. So I need to uh, tell this one to go down a little bit here. So let me grab these three lines, move that down. You got to kind of keep an eye on your layers because sometimes it just kind of creates one where you don't want it to be. So this is the one we're going to be drawing. It's active. It's highlighted in green and we know that that's ready to go. So um, two fingers, I'm going to move this or I can zoom or pinch, whatever. So there, there we are. I need to have a nice green apple. Let me go into here, pick a shade of green that I like for my apple, probably right there. And again, we're on the 50% size brush, so let's go ahead and paint that. We don't have to worry about it mixing in colors there because we don't have that problem because we're working in layers. This is, layers are the greatest thing ever for, for artists keeping their paint wet. Oh, those poor traditional artists, they don't know what they're missing. Digital, that's where it's at, baby. All right, so there's our, I'm just gonna get nice, even, just so we get a nice, Nice shape to that there. Okay, so our green apple is done. And let's go ahead and then add another layer up here. And that's going to be for our bananas. Okay, move that over here. Okay, bananas, here you come. Yellow, yellow, let's get better yellow. Nice yellow there. Okay, same thing. Just going to paint my edges of my bananas. Um, boy, I should have started with the, the farthest away one so I can overlap it. It's this one down here, actually. Because remember, the brush strokes are going to show up, so you want those brush strokes to really, really go in the direction, kind of give it that idea of this is that fruit. Go in that direction. And of course, if I, if I mess something up, like say I, I'm missing something from my underground, my, my background layer, I could actually go and get that. And this kind of goes to here, and it has the end of the banana on it, which we will add later. Okay, banana is done. Everything else looks great there. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to tap on the save button here just so we have it saved. And let me zoom out so you can kind of see what our image is looking like.